Melbourne is home now and I would love to take you along with me as we let ourselves in on its best kept secrets, experiences and various other things that Melbourne has to offer. This is life in Australia and it's 5.20 a.m. right now. I am at the Bargoni Estate in the Yarra Valley Ranges, all set to take my first ever hot air balloon sunrise flight with Global Ballooning Australia. Let's go. with Global Ballooning Australia. It definitely allows all of us to go back home with a lot of beautiful memories. So we are at 2,200 feet high. Oh, actually, right Isn't now we're at, we're at 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet high, and uh, this is absolutely breathtaking. After that absolutely beautiful flight, it's time for us to land. The flight experience was calming, it was rejuvenating and gives me all the energy to get back to work with absolute I'm, I'm wondering happiness. if we should I made memories put the, put and it, on the it was trailer. one of the best experiences of my life. Okay. It's the most exciting part. It's time to get inside the balloon. Who wants to come with me? Is no. the magnanimously massive balloon that we were flying. Now oh, we're, we we're going on a balloon tour. Let's yeah. go. So now we're inside the balloon, right where we're standing at the moment. The air in here while we're flying would be about 100 degrees Celsius. And then it's just cooled down now that we've deflated the balloon. The fabric's made out of nylon. It's the yeah. same stuff as parachute fabric. Balloons are sewn by a sewing machine and they're made here in Australia, up in Sydney. We've got balloons of different shapes and sizes. This one, uh, it fits 240,000 cubic feet of air inside it. And when it's full of air and passengers and myself, the whole aircraft weighs about 16 tonnes. So it's, it's a massive, massive aircraft. 
This is the big uh, hole in the top. This is the vent. This is how we control the rate of ascent and descent. So that's closed during the flight. And then we open it when we come into land. And then just for you guys, you notice I was spinning the basket around a little bit. This is the rotation vent on the side of the balloon. So it, uh, you know, I can shoot jets of air out the side and, uh, and, and spin the basket around to give everyone a little panoramic view. <laughs> now that we've had a beautiful tour of the 16 ton weighing balloon, um, it's time to deflate it and get out of it. It's time to get out of the balloon. <laughs> Finally get out of I'll the get balloon. Else. You can just start squeezing it together. Like now that was Global Ballooning Australia's Sunrise Hot Air Balloon Tour for all of you. Back with the man himself from Global Ballooning Australia. Pato, thank you so much again. Um, um, so right now, I would like to understand what's the mechanism in which the hot air balloons work? Well, you probably noticed that they're just a big bag of hot yeah. air. And yeah. so our only control is going up and yeah. down. Yeah. And we blow with the wind. But right. at different heights, the wind moves in different speeds and directions. Right. And so the surface wind can go one way and then yeah. as we climb up, we can go another. And using yeah. those different winds, yeah. we can navigate to where we want to go. It's like sailing through a three-dimensional three dimensional ocean. Um, Pato, tell me what's one thing that people need to look forward to um, if they want to take a flight with Global Balloon? Well, I think it's a completely unique experience. Yeah. It's nothing like flying in any other aircraft just because you are suspended under a basket completely uh, just in, taking in the whole panorama all around you, being able to see as far as the eye can see. And so it's completely unique, uh, very silent, also very uh, exhilarating, you know. It's a great way to conquer your fear of heights if uh, that might be something that you are uh, worried about. And so uh, just I think that uh, it's so unique that it's very much worth doing. Here Thank you so much again and um, I'm sure so many out there are going to be watching this episode for good content but more than that they're going to be eventually turning out to Valgovny Estate in order to take your hot air balloon sunrise flights but thank you so much again and all the very best with whatever you have ahead um, and thank you for hosting m tv so so wonderfully thanks again thank you you guys have been lovely Bye. and we hope to see you out there Really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Life in Australia. I will catch up with another episode next week. Until then, this is Sandra signing off. Adios, amigos. <laughs>